Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make India's popular dish, Kichri. Now Kichri is a dish that's made with rice and lentils and Ayurveda, which is the traditional science of Indian food and life, suggests that we eat Kichri throughout the year. Depending on the heat outside or the season, we change the spices and the lentils of Kichri, but the method remains the same. The first thing that you want to do is mix rice and lentils in a bowl and under cold running water you will rinse rice and lentils not once, not twice, but three times. Why three? Mummy told me and all our moms told each one of us. That's why we do that. One thing you want to remember is when you drain the water when rinsing, make sure you do not waste a single grain of rice or lentils. Set it aside and while that's happening, we will make the seasoning for the khichdi. Add cumin seeds to a lot of ghee because khichdi requires a lot of ghee in a saucepan while it's heating over medium heat. Saute the cumin seeds for about 15 to 20 seconds and then it's time to add fenugreek seeds and black mustard seeds. Now if you've seen my video before, you know black mustard seeds will crackle. And if you tilt the pan like I'm doing, the crackling will happen much faster. Make sure you always have a lid handy because black mustard seeds can spit on your face. Once the crackling has somewhat stopped, it's time to add garlic. Now here I'm adding fresh garlic and I'll saute it until it starts to turn light brown. And then I'm going to add something that's really unique to Indian cooking and it's called asafoetida. It's a gum of a tree and it resembles a garlic-like flavor and aids in digestion. Then I've added some curry leaves and I've broken each curry leaf into two so that it can enhance the flavor. And finally, I add the goodness of Indian cuisine, ground turmeric. And you can see everything turns yellow and you'll saute it for about 10 seconds. And then you add your soaked rice and lentils. Now make sure you mix rice and lentils along with some salt. You see I'll add some salt in a little bit. And make sure you're sauteing it for a couple of minutes until all of this goodness of ghee and spices and turmeric gets coated on each and every grain of rice and lentils. To this mixture, we add water. Now you can add stock, but stock is something we don't use a lot in Indian cooking, so I will leave it up to you. Now, khichdi is something that I always grew up eating when I was sick or I had a stomach upset. And even now when I come back from India and I have been on a flight for 30 hours or so, when I'm home, the first thing I make for myself is khichdi. So you can see how important khichdi is to our daily lives in India. When we play around with our stomach, when we eat butter chicken, we eat naan and all of this stuff and our stomach gets messed up, there's always the good old khichdi that will help you in your digestion. So thank you khichdi. While we continue cooking this, you just saw that I added some water. Mix it really well and bring this mixture to a boil. Remember all of this is happening on medium heat. But once the mixture has come to a boil, you will reduce the heat to simmer and cover it with a pot. You can see the mixture has now come to a boil. I cover it and reduce the heat to simmer. In 25 minutes, you will see the mixture of lentils and rice has been cooked. Now make sure you don't use white basmati rice. Use a short grain rice like jasmine rice to make khichdi. Use the back of your spoon to smash and your khichdi is ready. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.